And we're back with Cracker Man Unplugged 4. It's been a while since I said this many names. <clears throat> Jonathan Cohen, Guido Nicolas, Pulice Munoz, Giannis Baby Blues, David Whalen, Troy Woolmaker, Benny McGee, The Mac, Lunatis, Max Russell, Clint Strassler, Cowboys Fan, and Brent Mason. And since I'm reciting the phone book, it seems like a great time to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Adam Bartell, Trish C., and Robert. Friends, thank you very, very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. For the curious tinkly intro thingy, put your middle finger on D4, your pointer finger on G3, and I'm going to use my pinky finger on B5. You could use your ring, but it's more comfortable for me to use my pinky. You're going to pluck D, G, B, E, B, pull off of the B string, so it goes to open. D, G, B, E, B, pull off E, G ring finger is going to grab G4 and you can give that a couple of strums before your ring finger comes back off. The last time it just does the first four notes and then the strummy thing and that is your curious tinkly and Then intro. the main riff hits grab a B power chord that's the second fret of the A string but we also want to hear open B and E strings, we're going to strum in groups of three, and the first strum from each group is going to be with your pointer finger off. You're going to do four groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and a group of four. Again, with the first strum being with your pointer finger off. One, two, three, four. So here we go. And then we're going to do a very similar thing on F sharp. That's going to be starting on the E string, two, four, four, three, and also again with the open B and E strings. This time in our four sets of three, we're going to alternate between the first beat being with your pointer finger off, one, two, three, and with your pinky finger, I'm afraid, on the E string fifth fret, one, two, three. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. that set of four at the end and that's the one where your pointer finger comes off. So you alternate between the B and the F sharp one a bunch of times. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. The last time after the B, shimmery A, that is simply your regular old E shape, E major, the one with the pointer finger on the G string, except instead of down here on fret 6 and 7. Muting the E string, and then two frets higher for B. And that is our intro. Note about the strumming in that sets of three madness. Because three is an odd number, but there's an even number of strumming directions, down and up, every other first beat is going to alternate whether it's a down or an up strum. One, two, three, 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 four, and then the one, two, three, four is all normal. But that's so you can just down up, down up, down up your face off and lift your finger whenever it needs to. So maybe you don't have to think about all that. Maybe you just strum and lift your finger when it's supposed to happen. Or maybe the thinking about the one versus one will help you. For the verse, you just do the F sharp thing a whole bunch. Twice as long as that, until he says Roman, then you do like the intro, switch between B and F sharp. Until just like the intro, the last B. B. That's your sharp verse. details. Dean never does this thing. He just chugs away on F sharp. The other guy, who Google tells me is called Sean Tubbs, is the one who takes care of this. 
And also, in that big long F sharp in the verse, while Sean Tubbs is doing this thing, <laughs> Dean has got our intro curious shape, and he's just... which is also an F sharp, so you can F sharp however you care to F sharp. The next part we have to cover is the and I'm thinking while well, I'm thinking part, which comes in where shimmery A and shimmery B would come in in a later go round. It's gonna be shimmery F sharp, which is what we've been playing the whole time. And then shimmery A, I'm gonna leave my pointer finger on, I just have a hunch, but you can just do the E shape if you want. Shimmery A is gonna be on frets five, six, and seven. And Shimmery D is going to be on frets 10, 11, and 12. So, F sharp, A, D. That's that. There is a solo. I'm going to give you the ingredients and you can make it your own. Dean uses the notes on the B string, second fret. 5, 7, 9, 10, and 12 towards the end. But while he's playing those notes, he's also got the open E string ringing out. He starts with five and seven, down to two, kind of does it again on a different rhythm. That's just me making it my own. You should make it your own. Goes up to ten and nine at some point. Then he does do some two string harmonies. He's gonna have E12 and B14. Down to E11, B12, at which point the B string starts going 10 and 12. I'm just doing my thing. And you should do your thing. Unless it's that one thing. I ask you to stop doing that thing. The end is the F sharp thing. A bunch of times and then it gets cut in two by shimmery A. And that's the end. And that's it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.